All right, so two CEOs, one Mike from T-Mobile and Elon Musk from Starlink and other ventures have just announced a new partnership between the T-Mobile cell service and the Starlink satellite services that provide you know, internet right now uh, all over the world. And I want to go through real fast and give you the, the details. I just watched their live event that they just did. And um, it's really cool what they are uh, rolling out. And basically what it is, is they're going to start to merge their two systems together. And what's really cool is T-Mobile has bought a lot of Spectrum. And so basically you have to uh, you know, get permits um, or licenses from the government for um, different frequency spectrums. And T-Mobile's mid-band spectrum, their 5G spectrum, they are now actually giving a portion of that to Starlink so that the Starlink satellites can leverage that frequency and send stuff down uh, to Earth at that frequency that your regular phone can pick up. So what's really cool about it is your phone doesn't have to change. So your current phone that takes, you know, and accepts T-Mobile 5G network will continue to work. And in fact, the phone won't even know that it's connected to a satellite in space versus a terrestrial tower here on Earth. There's several things to note though and one is this doesn't mean that uh, your phone is now going to be a satellite phone when you're in your regular service area where you have good coverage what this means is it's really focused in the very um, rural out um, out of town out of suburbia you know even out of civilization so you're out in the wild you're in national parks you're in the desert you know you're camping you're hiking you're climbing mountains all that kind of stuff if you have a clear view of the sky but no cell service this is really where they are targeting it to work so it's not designed to work um you know in the downtown city and um you, you know you need to get um connection it's going to pick the terrestrial towers first every time but if there was a natural disaster and you know the cell network gets either overloaded or taken out um, at least in in the short time then this is where the SpaceX um, Starlink satellites would then start to be leveraged and so there are limitations obviously it can only handle so much bandwidth and that's where what they're starting with um, to begin and they haven't started the testing yet right so they they have these um, you know they call them V2 or version 2 of the Starlink satellites that's really what is going to be the um, towers are you know up in up in space for this service and those are just about to go up and they're going to deploy them and then they'll start testing it and when they first roll it out for this beta testing it's going to not support data or voice it's only going to be text messaging and other messaging uh, apps and that's because they take very little data and you don't need as many satellites to connect. Elon was saying that you could connect to as few as a single satellite and um, it would still work. It might take uh, several minutes to uh, send the text message, but it would still work. Whereas typically the way their, their setup is, is kind of designed is like a mesh setup where you have multiple satellites um, all um, receiving and sending data uh, together as a combined thing, which you know, if you're used to something like GPS or anything, you'll see that, you know, you typically will try to have 8, 10, 12 satellites to get a good GPS signal. And it's kind of the same uh, concept here for Starlink, where you have multiple satellites that you want to have. So that's really the gist of what they're doing is they're starting out with simple, basic text messaging. And um, then they're going to grow and expand it as they get more satellites up there. They can go to data and voice service. And ultimately, they plan to enable, um, you know, your T-Mobile phones to be able to connect to those satellites when you're out of range of a terrestrial uh, tower that you would typically connect to. So, really cool. Um, there's some other tidbits in there in that uh, in that uh, live press event that they just did of things uh, like hinting at trying to get uh, T-Mobile service at Mars. You know, uh, Elon has a big um, thing out uh to occupy Mars and actually travel there and make a whole colony. Uh, so that's kind of a, a neat uh, side story. Now, a lot of my channel, I talk about the home internet. That's what this is. This is the T-Mobile home internet. And I would have to imagine that eventually that would work. And I would imagine that potentially you would even combine uh, the Starlink and the T-Mobile home internet 
uh, potentially as the same product or a very similar product because um, why have two different products that offer the same thing? So if they ever get the uh, capability and the capacity up on this um, you know, mid-band 5G for the Starlink down to Earth, then I can see that as a way to actually combine uh, T-Mobile home internet and Starlink home internet. So that uh, would be really cool to see. So stay tuned, watch my channel. I will make sure to cover any kind of news uh, on this type of thing and uh, take care.